Greetings, I the War Owl greets you, and I'm going to be showing you here once again another 5 vs. 5 Counter-Strike Global Offensive match, and this one is going to be game number 3, the epic conclusion to this series here between the Ninjas in Pajamas and Very Games, and it will all come down to the end here on Nuke, D.E. Nuke, and we see Very Games taking the terrorist side first. They absolutely dominated the last game on Inferno, coming off of that win. Have to feel confident here as they push outside, take outside to absolutely no resistance. Where are these counter-terrorists? None of them are going to be downstairs, and terrorists just charge down here, running straight through the ninjas in pajamas defense. They weren't even watching this, so now terrorists have downstairs. Ninjas in pajamas has to move for the retake. We see three of them there at the ramp. Try to anticipate very game's movements based on what they played in previous games. Counter terrorist health dwindling down, dwindling away. Just going to be Forrest and Freiburg left. Smith Z taking them out from the side there, and they all are dead. Very game start this thing's one point, and that is an incredible point because it is a pistol round terrorist side nuke. And of course, we do have DE nuke. It is an incredibly counter terrorist sided map. So that point there on Very Games will give them a huge lead because that'll probably give them the second round as well. But oh, hold the phone. We actually have another. Armor, helmet, buy here, P250 from the Ninjas in Pajamas on CT side, second round after a loss. And let's check out how they're going to set up this difficult map to check out the setups here. We have Faflaren watching the ramp, usually Freiburg watches the ramp. This is a good position to sit when you have those pistols out. Faflaren getting surrounded, he's got Freiburg helping him here, he's got actually three players. Forrest in position and get right. all of them at ramp. Terrorists do not have to go ramp. It looks like instead they are going outside. We have Exist inside of Sneaky. Oh, he's actually inside of the big garage. Trying to catch a frag on these players. Roger. Terrorists, though, playing it very passive. Not pushing anywhere. Freiburg now went up the ladder and is upstairs inside of the rafters waiting for these players to push. And we do have Smith Z going downstairs. Terrorist in position downstairs. We see Forrest there in position to take them out. And Freiburg jumping downstairs to rotate. Now going to be up to these players who have rotated downstairs. Good rotates by Ninjas in Pajamas. Keeping on top of where these terrorists are going. Very good intel here. So they hear them running around in the back halls. Hear them inside of the computer room. Exist. Grabs a frag. Forrest here. Master Pistoler waiting for these folks to run into the site. And get right is at the ramp. May want to hide himself at this point. And Forrest springs his trap. Takes out two players. Three players. Brilliant pistoling there by Forrest. Taking out three of Very Games buying players when all he had was a P250 armor. Nice round by Ninjas in Pajamas. That was an absolute steal there. Very Games is, has to be kicking themselves over that one. It looked like Ninjas in Pajamas was able to play that so well because of how well their positioning was, how well their rotating was. They knew where Very Games was going. They, they heard and they listened. They made sure they knew exactly what was going on, and they rotated appropriately to deal with it. All right, and we have a saving Very Games now. Playing pretty aggressively inside of the lobby. Now they're not going to be moving anywhere else. Do have Smith Z pushing forward at the ramp. Faflaren looks like he's going to be the player watching ramp this time. He has an MP7. He probably... I'm not sure why he has this. I think he actually purchased this. This is a save weapon. You get an extra 300 money per frag with it. So assuming that Very Games is not going to be doing a buy. And of course he can upgrade away from this thing on the next round. And if he gets frags with it, it is worth it. And... Not getting the frags with it, instead pulling out the pistol. We see Exist moving in from the back, but Forrest mowing down the rest of them with a three frag there. Another good round from Ninjas in Pajamas. They rolled a bunch of saving players. Very Games now should be able to buy. We'll go AK-47 here. And waiting for them to buy it. They are planning their strategy right now. And no, what? Will they be doing a double save? Yes, they will. So... Very Games will be doing another save here, two save rounds. This will put them um, behind in the points, but at the same time, we are watching Nuke. They've already got one point on the field. They're going to be shooting for three to five points. They need about three points if they want a chance of winning this game. 
Smith Z try to catch player off guard, but they do not do much damage with those pistols. There's Screen grabbing a headshot off of Get Right. Multiple headshots to get that frag as Freiberg charges outside and takes those players down. Existence and NBK is left. NBK is lurking below. They seem to know where he is. I think he made some noise here. And just NBK left. Exist jumps down and destroys him. Ninjas in pajamas takes that point, but no surprise. The only surprise was that Get Right died. All right, now we have Fairy Games. We'll be buying this round, getting their AK-47s, and let's check out on this buy versus buy what sort of setup the Ninjas in Pajamas do on CT side. I can already fathom, because uh, we've seen them play this map so many times in the past. Get Right usually holds outside by himself with a rifle, which is uh, unique. A lot of players play off outside. Oh, he's actually throwing a smoke out. Where is he going? Up into the rafters? Nope, he's gonna be playing outside here from these... Oh, and sort of lets them get by. Oh, what? No, never mind. Takes out existence as they move down into the secret. And we have Smith Z, a trailblazer down here, leading his team. We did see Forrest jump down into the dark room. Good rotates from Ninjas in Pajamas, already here to deal with this. And... Forrest gives himself away, knows where Smith C is now. Scream making lots of noise. Forrest able to line up the shot beforehand, but not able to connect. Just Freiburg left down here, waiting for these players to push. Terrace have position downstairs, but they're being very timid in how they take this site. Three health left on Scream. Took a lot of damage fighting against Forrest. And Terrace still downstairs. Smith Z now inside of the site, trying to plant that bomb. We have Get Right sneaking in from behind. Faflaren in front, already taking out two players. Two are left. So we have Exist upstairs. Faflaren from here. Get Right coming in from behind. Does take him down. Now just one player left. Exist. And once, you know, against Shocks here with Exist. And Get Right. Want to try to take this at the same time. They, they don't know where this player is. They're checking around. One of the common spots. Oh, and Get Right just shoots him through the door. Ex you know, sort of exactly knows where that player is. Perfect headshot as he's sitting here in the corner. Wow. Goodness, Get Right. That was some crazy stuff there. Let's get now vision on Get Right for that round. Love that shot through that door. Get right, man. All right, Ninjas in Pajamas leading this thing, but we have another buy round here from Vary Games. Able to buy it twice in a row. Blue Shell Effect should be kicking in pretty soon. They have lost now four rounds in a row. Once you get the six rounds in a row, or five rounds in a row, they're going to be able to start buying every time. And the player will be the player at ramp. Normally they put Freiburge there. Instead, we'll be playing inside of the vents. So we'll be playing the ground inside. Usually Exist plays that position. Actually, Exist is in his normal position here. And we have Scream boosted up. On top of the Marshmallow. Terrace taking outside. Boosting up. Looks like they're going to try to go up into the rafters. So this is where Get Right's been playing. Get Right sees the head of Smith Z. Tries to spray the player down. By Smith Z moving there, this allows Existence to get up there and do the jump to get up into the rafters outside. Existence now running forward up top. Wow, look at this. Gets great position here, takes heaven. Get right, comes back up, but Existence is already there. And he does get smoked out there with some fire. Forced to fall back. But now Terrace have a great position to take bombsite A. Once you take heaven like this, A is going to be a cake breeze. Freiburg in the ground there, looking at heaven, waiting for existence to peak, and he peaks! Freiburg takes him out. Now going to be a two versus two, Forrest and Faflaren. Scream hops downstairs and plants that bomb. They did not have enough time to take him. They're going to try to time this at the same time. Oh, Faflaren grabs a frag off of Shocks. Now going to be coordinating here. Forrest sneaking up behind Scream. Great shot, taking him down. Since he was waiting for Forrest to come out the back of the vents. And charge down those stairs. Or rather, was waiting for a flare. So, another good round from Ninjas in Pajamas taking that thing. What it looked like, Fairy Games had a chance. But that bomb plant, along with the blue shell effect, will give them another buy. So, we have another AK-47 buy here. 
from Very Games. All right, ninjas in pajamas. Said we were gonna check out their CT side setup. Let's Look at them the getting ready to take the uh, tank. This game here, charging out of the spawn. Love that shot. And so yeah, this is interesting. So they got Flare in here inside of ramp. Fryburge playing rafters, also assisting at ramp when needed. Looks like they're gonna be trying to do event special. They did do a lemonade door, but they're not pushing out there. Instead, they are still moving outside. Get right has changed positions a little bit. Playing inside of the mini garage, still playing the outside position though. Forrest taking his position. So get right, I mean, Ninjas in Pajamas keeps um, switching up how they play CT side. Which is very smart. Lots of wall banging you can do on this map. And Terrace take outside. Get right, not able to push through there because of that smoke. So we have Forrest, the player to hold this off. And Terrace are actually taking outside. They're not going right down into the secret. 69 health here on Forrest. And I don't think they actually want to take secret. They just want to take outside here. They've taken the big garage. Forrest, not at heaven anymore. Terrace can move around and take hell from here and go downstairs and sort of split B. B flaring. Rotates downstairs. Actually, Terrace now creeping their way forward. And look at this sneaky, sneaky! Waiting for these people, uh, players to take downstairs and try to plant that bomb. Faflarin has uh, set up himself here to, to launch a trap. Counter Terrace. And inside of that smoke! Come on, line it up! Faflarin lets him plant! Does not shoot the player. That was his one chance. And he does go down. Two versus four retake. And they are going for it. Here is Forrest. Now just exist. Both of them coming down the vents. Looks like Very Games may be able to grab a win here unless Exist can absolutely own it. There's one frag, not a lot of time left. And he does not have enough time left to just kill all those players and defuse this thing. However, he's still in position, still trying to grab those exit frags, and he can! Does go down though. Shocks with a good shot allows Shocks and Existence to survive that round. That's not good for Ninjas in Pajamas. Two points here already for Very Games. That's a lot early on in this game. Especially on T-side nuke. Alright, let's check out how Very Games is setting up this time. And that is to make sure people are not charging, rushing outside. Just safety flash. Can afford to use one for that. And Faflarin trades himself at ramp, very aggressively runs in there. Now Forrest is the player to watch ramp. They killed a player ramp, so they may be thinking, hey, let's take ramp. What they don't know is that Forrest is in position, taking out Smith Z through the smoke by watching where those tracers went. Exist in the standard position here. Waiting for these players to push. Scream, trying to pick Forrest. Love these little battles. Look at that shot. Scream takes him out. Little headshot battles going on there. Put this thing into a three versus three. We have get right in that room on the right, though. Terrorists are saying, hey, man, we killed two people ramp. Let's go ramp. No, it's a trap, which it is. So Terrorists instead will be taking upstairs. So it's all up to exist here to hold this thing off. What? No, instead they did try to go ramp and get right trades himself. But Terrorists do take ramp. Where is Shox? Shox is already downstairs. So they're going to converge on downstairs and get this bomb planted. Bomb is on screen right now. He's going to throw the smoke and plant in the smoke. Prevent himself from dying. Exist may try to pop down and spray that player. Oh, he doesn't know about the player behind him. And may want to aggress from here. Does try to take... Scream. Nice job there. Cause Scream to turn around at risk of life and limb. Here comes Shocks. One versus two does get taken down, and Ninjas in Pajamas will defuse this thing for the win, preventing Very Games from taking yet again another point. Well, once again, Bomb Plant. Very Games has been playing a really good T side nuke. Will be able to know they can't buy again. It looks like they are now forced to what? Existence full bomb. Yes, they will be buying. Two players will be pistoling, though. We actually have a Deagle here up on NBK. Going for them, one Deegs. And we have a P250 on Existence. So, not able to fully buy, but will be spending all their money, nonetheless, for another chance at a point. Not going to be doing the save just yet. And because they won that one round, kills their blue shell effect. 
So terrorists play aggressively at B, then they back off, leave the flare in there by himself. Terrorists here still inside of the lobby, they can go anywhere. Looks like they're getting ready to lemonade the door and push out. They've lemonaded the door, they've thrown the smokes. We'll be pushing outside. And they've got Molotovs off, very unfortunate for them. Good job by those counter-terrorists, preventing these players from pushing into the site. It is gone now, but MBK was left stranded by himself inside of the site. Just existence left with his P250, wants to grab one of those AK-47s, and he has it! Does go down. So as you saw there, players did nade that door, and usually when you nade the door, you need to push out right away. Very Games has been taking their time. They nade the door, let it sit there a while, throw their smokes and nades, sort of meander over there. They need to just burst through that thing and blitzkrieg the site, because that will, I mean, if they don't do that, it allows Ninjas and Pajanas to put up defensive countermeasures measures like that uh, Molotov, which Freiburg does have in his hand, and he's the player playing heaven. And he's got it in his hand once again, just in case they try to lemonade that door. Terrorists are saving, but getting ready to push upstairs exists. Picks off Smith Z quite easily. For Flare and defensive smoking. Preventing these players from pushing. NBK spray in common positions. These players are so good that they're able to say, oh, players are usually here. I'm gonna shoot it. And then they get the frags every once in a while. It's it's brilliant. Right, where are these pistoling players doing? They are going to be waiting outside, trying to boost up outside. I think Get Right should be the player to deal with this. And he hears them, knows they're on top of the marshmallow, which they are not actually. The player is outside at red, and he does hear scream, waiting for him to try to go downstairs. Knows he's right around the corner. Launches the attack. Does not know that Shox is there though. Shox is in a position to frag. Does just have this Glock, though, but Gidright doesn't know where he is. Man takes him down. A Flaren taking on a saving existence. Oh, existence almost takes him down. Flaren at four health. Very close to a frag there. And we check out our scoreboard. Looks like Gidright is leading the way there. Twelve frags already in this game. And Ninjas in Pajama secures himself another point. And Very Games will be buying after full saving. They are so money hurt at this point. They win around every once in a while. Kills their buy, buy, buy. Of course, they do have those two points, so they have to be feeling pretty good about that. They've got plenty of rounds left. Five rounds left for them to get a few more points in this thing. And this is such a critical, critical game. This is it. This is the last time we're going to see Ninjas in Pajamas versus Very Games. And Terrace will be taking outside. Out. Do not have anyone to deal with this. Where is Get Right? Oh, he's watching it from hell this time. Out the window. No smokes are down. There's the smoke. Scream, though, takes 40 damage before they're able to smoke. Lots of players out there. Get Right very cautiously going for those headshots. Smith Z tries to launch the attack there on Get Right. We have Forrest downstairs trying to hold this off. Freiburg takes over for him and grabs the last two frags, taking down the rest of Very Games as they try to go down that secret position. So once again, another great rotate by Ninjas in Pajamas. We did have um, Get Right up there. Saw those players um, trying to go at secret, so they rotated two players downstairs and waited for them. Very Games, very surprised by that, was not able to make anything happen. And they will be forced to save once again. Now, save rounds, usually trying to get a bomb plant. Instead, they drop the bomb, screen picking that thing up. They've already wasted any rush they could possibly have. Instead, playing it very passive. I think the idea here is that they may grab a few frags, get lucky, and grab the weapons off of the uh, fragging players for next round. But for Flaren here, able to hold off ramp every time they try to push. That smoke will not help. This will allow Terrace to get vision. It's a little bit off. And Shocks. Looks like he wants to go downstairs. Where's the bomb carrier? This is existence. They exist here. Waiting for this player. I think this is going to be... Yes. Freiburge. Waiting for him to push there. And it looks like they're going to be going ramp. So here's for Flaren once again to hold it off. But Get Right's on the ground. Get Right grabs two frags. And Flaren picks up the rest of them. Yeah. Another great round. Ninjas in pajamas holding off saving players. 
Very games now. Will be AK-47 buying. Ninjas in pajamas so incredibly strong and defensive at CT side and using those smokes. And check this out. We have two incendiary grenades. One on Get Right and one on Freiburg. Um, we know that one of those is for the the uh, squeaky door if they so try to go through it. However, we see a lot of them going outside. There's the lemonade door. So let's see if that is thrown. We have Freiburg here. He's waiting for smokes to go through. Instead, we'll put, be putting down his own defensive smoke. If they started throwing flashes and smokes, he would be throwing that out there. All right. And Terrace now outside. Get right has moved outside. Now pulling back. They've smoked across. Shocks will be crossing. Shocks gets into big garage here. Terra still inside of lobby, haven't taken much position. They're trying to push at ramp right now. Shox is taking good position, so it's a split B. They're gonna try to get hell, and they've taken ramp, so now they have good uh, position there. And Faflaren is forced downstairs. Where's Shox going? Still inside of big garage. Ooh, gets Molotov out there by Forest. Freebirds is downstairs. Terrace do have ramp. We'll be going downstairs at this point. And we have Faflaren to hold them off. Freeburge helping as well. Faflaren goes down. And these two players at ramp. Rotating downstairs. Terrace have position though. Good positioning by them, but Forrest and Get Right take them down. Wow, good shot by Shox. He's got to hold this thing off now. One versus two. Get Right almost saw him there. Exist inside of the site. One player is defusing as Get Right holds off. Shocks, and it is a fake defuse. Shocks heard that second defuse, and Exist takes him down and will be defusing this bomb for real. Ninjas in pajamas taking another point. Have to start feeling good about this. All right, Very Games has got to win some rounds. Blue Shell Effect is in full effect. They are able to buy. But they only have two rounds left, and they really want to win both of them to put themselves in a position to win this game. I'm Smith Z now. With an AWP. I mean, leaving this thing at two points, they're really putting themselves at it's all on this pistol round, and that is such a stressful position to put yourself in. Pistol rounds can go either way. And Smith Z here will get boosted up. Crazy open, but nobody's home. Get right. Playing very passive outside. Making this op sort of pointless. He will be able to get a good vantage on Get Right here. Let's see if he grabs a frag. Should know where he is. Oh, Get Right's moved. Where is he? Ninja. Where'd he even go? We have one player inside of the hut right now. Forrest back here. Could get the drop off of Smith C, who's looking for Get Right right now. And Forrest. Still outside. Knows where he is now. Oh, Get Right moved back, and Smith Z finally got the frag. Pulls out the pistol to go take out Forrest. Because he was tagged by Shocks. Now, looks like a good round for Very Games. Faflaren getting attacked by two players at once is forced to pull downstairs. They've sort of trapped these players exactly where they want them. Freiburg upstairs, Faflaren downstairs. Players have been pushed back to the sights. Last line of defense. I'm not sure what, where Faflaren is going. Exist in Freiburg. Upstairs, holding this thing off. Flaren just dying to scream. Terrace. Going to be going downstairs. They need to drop down the vents now. 20 seconds left. Terrace have to plant this thing. And we already have Freiburg downstairs. He's grabbed screen. Exists rotating downstairs as well. Here he is, pushing into the site. Does go down to Smith Z. Now just going to be up to Freiburg. One versus three. Can he do it? Oh, gets shot through the door. He threw that flash and gave his position away. And he will go down. Sometimes the best surprise is not to blind your opponents, but to run in there and shoot them in the face. And here we are now on the last round here. Ninjas in pajamas, 11 points to Very Game's three. Very Game wants to pick up this last point and put themselves in a good position here. As it stands right now. Three points. They've met their quota. But at the same time, they want to get that four. Three points is a winnable situation. It's not a we will win situation. However, that ship has sailed. They're going to have to play a really good CT side. And Smith C pushing outside. Do you have one player 
up inside of the rafters. Getting ready to strike. Be able to catch Smith Z off guard here. That's going to be Freeburge. Oh, he's inside. Never mind. That x ray, man. And no get right. Where is he this time? Oh, we see that opping player. Getting ready to pick that spot. This is the next place he picks. Is hell. And here he goes. Oh, get right had moved. This is so tense watching this. It will be decided to take upstairs. Harris getting ready to do a great take. Love that Molotov being thrown straight down in Smith Z's face, saying denied. Terrace now getting ready to take upstairs. Flashes and smokes are going. We have defensive flashes as well. Freiburg is going to be taking NBK as they move into the site. Exists still on the ground. Does get taken out. Great job by Scream moving into this site. Just going to be Forrest left. One versus four for the retake last round. He has to go for it, but Smith sees in position to take him down. Great half there. And that will leave four points to Vary Games, putting themselves in a good, winnable position in this game, taking four points off of T-side uh, Nuke. So we shall be moving on to the next half. And we are now ready for the second half to commence. Ninjas in pajamas now taking Terra's side. As very games will have to put up the walls of the defense and have to play a great CT side. It's all pretty much even at this point. It looks like ninjas in pajamas is ahead, but they're really not. Very games has a very good chance of winning this game. And looks like they're going to be playing very heavy here. Add ramp right away. Exist going to be picking it. Terrace now pushing outside, taking Scream down. Shocks upside there. Terrace will be getting by, will be doing an upstairs take, moving in through the um, the mini garage. Going to be a difficult retake here. Terrace are all over the place, one even inside of the vents there. And exists, just popping players in the face. NBK tries to move in, but Faflaren is there to take him down. And Ninjas in Pajamas will take Pistol Round. That is huge for them. That's going to put them in such a great position to win this game. Goodness. And I am waiting for our P250 armor buy here from Very Games. And let's get that really cool shot of the players running by the camera. Let's do it. Yeah. They were just completely out of sync. No, that didn't work. But, we. oh, this is weird. Not all of them doing the uh, armor P250 buy. Three of them. Full save shocks here with a P2000. Not trying to win this round? I, I don't know what this is. This is three players buying the armor. Let's see what these players are. So, we got NBK, who's upstairs, Existence, and Scream. All three of these players downstairs now. Because terrorists took outside, so they said, oh, they're going to go secret. You don't have to go secret when you go outside. Good call, but it did not pay off. Gonna be boosting for flaring up. Exist is like, you know you want to. You know you want to. And here comes Faflaren boosting up. We should have another player boost up so Faflaren can, or another player can get into the heaven. Nope. Just gonna be checking heaven, make sure there's nobody there. Which there wasn't. Terra's getting ready to do an upstairs take. So the players will move through Mini Hut. At the same time as they move through heaven. This is a very nice upstairs take here by Ninjas in Pajamas. Of course, they're going up against sort of half saving players. Now just existence, like they wasted a lot of money on that. That was weird. I don't know what Very Games was trying to do there, but they just completely screwed themselves money-wise. They're, yeah, next round's not a buy. That'll give Ninjas in Pajamas a 14. They're in trouble. They're in serious trouble of getting kicked out of this, uh, this competition here. The biggest Counter-Strike competition of all time. Look at this. I give up. No, I give up. Biggest Counter-Strike competition of all time. The premier Counter-Strike competition this year. And they are on the verge of getting kicked out of it. Ninjas in Pajamas at 13 points going up against a saving Very Games, who does not have money now to buy on this round. Next round, I'm also fearful of what they're going to be able to purchase. They will full buy, because they'll have to to win out. But now, winning that pistol round, Ninjas in Pajamas put themselves in a position to completely win this game. And we still got Bazones up. They sort of assumed it wasn't going to be a P250 armor buy. And, oh, Gidride gets taken down by NBK, who liberates that Bazone. But what's up, Bazone, against armored players? 10 damage a shot. NBK carrying around pretty much 
a Nerf gun. May have been better with the P250. Terrace have taken position outside. Looks like we're going to get a huge upset here. Pistoling players. Wow, this is crazy. Smith C gets taken down, though. Did get an AK-47, which was huge. Now a three versus three. Terrorists outside. This just shows you how CT side of this is. You have a saving team just about to take out the ninjas in pajamas. Scream is in wait for these players to push hell with the P2000. This doesn't do much damage. He's got to he's got to grab multiple headshots before they can flip around and shoot him. Oh, and they boost it up. And going to be getting a player into heaven. I like this boost. So Fafleren will be boosting up into heaven. There's Exist. Now they have position in heaven. Very nice, without even going up the ladder. NBK on the ground. Flaren takes him down and Exist in a crazy position. Fafleren misses his entire clip. Freiburg moves in and takes him down for the kill. Nice job there. Ninjas in pajamas puts himself at 14 points. Very game almost snagged that save round. Now they have to win out. This is go time. This is go time, so we're going to give them one more chance at the run by. One more chance here for very games. Never mind. All right, they do actually have Smith Z going to be opping outside this time. Playing it from the big garage. Oh, no, instead going to be pushing forward. Terra is pushing it outside, trying to grab position here, and they're going to be catching them off guard. Good flashes on Forrest and Fafleren as well. This looks like a great round here for Very Games. Last-ditch effort. They're going to push at ramp. A good um, defensive flash there by S uh, Scream, and able to hold it off with the headshots. Just get right left. Oh, Scream takes them down, but Smith Z lands the final blow, and Very Games prevents the ninjas in pajamas from moving in there, playing a very aggressive CT side, and it definitely paid off there putting themselves back in this game. This is it. They have to win out. They have to win the rest of the rounds. All 11 of them. 11 points in a row now. It'll be 12 points in a row. Can they do it? Can they do 12 points in a row for the win to knock Ninjas in Pajamas out of this tournament? And we will have a pause here while we wait for Forrest to get back into the game. All right, and after a bunch of technical difficulties... We are back in this game. All of the players got dropped. It said no Steam log on. Some crazy stuff going on here. But we are back into this thing. Ninjas in Pajamas, 14 points to Very Games, 5. And once again, they do have to win 12 rounds. Or sorry, 11 rounds now. In a row, 12 in total. Can they do it? What? Smith Z trades the op out for an M4. Crazy lateral here as he decides to. Where is he even going? Throwing that off over to Shox here, who seems to be his. Um... Oh, Shox actually using that thing. And existence does go down. Terrace have taken upstairs very quickly. We do have Shox rotating up. Three players crowding each other here inside of heaven. All they have to do is throw a good nade there, and these poor players will take tons of damage. And Freiburg will be planting that bomb. It's a trap, though. They do not peek it. Smith Z trying to sneak in from behind there as they wait to do this retake. We have Shox watching outside. Smith Z sneaking in from the back. Scream ready to push, and they're going to coordinate this thing. And here they go. Scream has died. And Smith C throws down. Going to be Shocks, the last player left. One versus three, and unfortunately he is forced to save. That will give Ninjas in Pajamas 15 points. That's not good for Very Games. And the Ninjas in Pajamas will be hunting him down. Tribers going for the frag, jumps up and down, avoids the op shot, kills the player, doesn't even pick up the op. Freiburg's got a four frag. Let's check out that Owl Vision.
Wow, it is all down to this. Ninjas in Pajamas now match point against Very Games, who is very low on money and is forced to buy Famas and Mag7. Two of them don't even have armor. No helmets. All around, this is it. And we'll see how Ninjas in Pajamas is going to do this thing. Here comes Faflarin, pushing outside. Back is turned, aggressively pushing forward. Existence is through there. Smith C grabs him down, but this allows Faflarin to get in position. Sees the gun sticking out of Existence. Now going to be taking on Smith Z, who's watching where Faflarin is. And he takes him down. Now just two players left. It is a two versus two. On the other side of the map, NBK lands a Mag 7 headshot. So we do have Faflarin and Freeburst left. Now just going to be Shocks. Match point. All they have to do is take down Shocks, and it is game. There's Faflarin. Faflarin going after Shocks. Shocks takes him down. Now a one versus one. Freeburst versus Shocks. Bomb has been planted. He's got to go for it. And he's inside of Mini Hut. And he takes him down. Ninjas in Pajamas wins this game. Congratulations to the Ninjas in Pajamas. I'm the War Owl, and I still have no closer.